Okay, I'm going to make a follow-up video. Uh, my last video that I have on setting a tire bead with an air compressor. Um, I found out that that does not work all the time. Uh, I recently mounted some steel belted radials that came from a warehouse. They uh, were stacked on each other and uh, it was just uh, too, too far apart to uh, set the bead. So what I did was I bought a, a Nipco 5 gallon bead seeder it's equivalent to the Cheetah CHP5. I uh, never used a Cheetah. I can tell you this one is pretty high quality. I paid about $110 off of eBay for it. Um, uh, and so I'm just going to go ahead and, and show you how that works. Um, what we'll do is we'll charge the tank to about 100 pounds, 100 PSI. Using an air compressor, it comes with a quick connect. So we'll just uh, connect that. Make sure the valve's open, pressurize the tank. We'll go ahead, we'll, we'll seat the bead. So uh, let me uh, fill it up first. What we'll do is we'll just put in here. So what we'll do is we have valve here. This is a junk rim so I'm not too worried about scratching it up. Here's our gauge. We have our air hose attached here. We'll go ahead and make sure this valve is closed all the way. This is an inch and a half ball valve so it gives it a pretty good flow. We'll go ahead and we'll open that valve up. You can see the pressure on the tank rising on the gauge here. Like I said, we'll charge that to about 100 pounds. Now this can get charged up to 150. Um, normally you, you wouldn't need to go that high. 100 is probably a little bit much uh, for this tire. But um, that's what we'll charge this up to. I'm also going to use a, a clip-on tire chuck. And this will allow a steady flow of air in the tire while the bead is seated. Now th this bead is going to be pretty easy because you can see it's it's pretty shallow um, you know there's not uh, too much space in between the bead and the rim so it'll be a pretty easy easy set but we'll go ahead and we'll uh, just clip that tire chuck on said this one would set with the air compressor so just make sure that that's separated from the tire. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use this end of the bead seeder. You can see it has a little notch here to rest on the rim. Um, I would use a towel or some kind of protectant because this is metal if I was worried about scratching it. We'll go ahead with that air flowing through the tire. That's set about 70 pounds. We'll put this right along the edge of the tire and in one motion we're going to open this inch and a half ball valve and we'll see the bead seat. We can see here the bead is seated all the way around front and back. There's a little area here that you'll see popping up. Oh, there it goes right there. Um, I would just fill this tire up to the remaining 30 psi and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it.